what's the crack lads welcome back to the channel today we're going to be taking a look at what's coming monday and it looks to be dennis law berbatov and burkamp now we've had law and burkamp before i actually have dennis law he's a beast in the air very underrated card as a super sub berbatov is a brand new legend that they're adding to the game a lot of people are actually excited about berbatov and i'm going to show you why with the stats that we have here on the db right this is also going to be a question that i answer in this video as well uh what is in the mystery box a few little ideas as to what that could be because of the database updates and also we will be doing a massive stream tomorrow monday so you guys better be there as we open thanks to oc we're going to be spinning for all of these three boys here and testing out law berbatov and burkamp right so to kick us off, a few people have been asking me about this, what's in the box, right? The Mario box, as I call it. It looks like it's going to be this version of Gabriel Martinelli, okay? So that seems to be what it is in the box. It's a player that they've added to the database. And also, I did talk about this selection that's coming as well. Foden, Sancho, Solanke, Nketiah, Pedro, Somerville, a few others over here as well. This is going to be part of the selection, the English League selection attackers from uh, Dennis Law, Berbatov and Burkham's pack, right? Now, as I said, a lot of people seem to be excited about Dennis Law and mostly Berbatov here, okay? Now, as of right now, right, it looks to be that he has 33 levels. That's obviously just a placeholder. It won't be official until the server's update tomorrow or the live update or, or the, the live actual card drops into the game, right? So I think he will have about 30 plus levels. If he does, man, you're going to have a monster on your hands, right? You've got a quick little base uh, setup done of him here. Six into shooting, 13 into decks. You're pretty much with the booster that you're going to be able to add him. And this is where the attraction comes with the double boosters. Are these double boosters, you know, miles a better, miles better and miles ahead of the old cards? No. If you've got the old Dennis Law, you're not going to have to really go for the new Dennis Law, even though the card is going to be marginal better in terms of stats. Like, they're still going to have the same player ID. I'm going to do a video on that because a lot of people ask me about it. But with this booster, this double booster and Arteta, you are going to be potentially able to have somebody like Berbatov, who you wouldn't really consider as like a super fast player, actually pretty decent. 90 balance is huge, 85 physical contact, 90 kicking power, 90 finishing, 88 type possession, which with the booster, the double booster, if you give him, uh, I think it's technique as the double booster crafting, you could literally get that to 90 type possession as well. 95 or 98 plus offensive awareness speed is going to be 85 plus acceleration nearly at the 90 mark you can mess around and that's only with 33 levels if he has 31 levels he won't be as strong as you're seeing here he also has some pretty decent skills as well aerial superiority off the rip double touch marseille turn acrobatic finishing um for dennis law right i think we've done him up here as a like a goal poacher with arteta he's going to be getting the agility plus two booster um and we've just done a brief kind of look at him as well which seems to be his stats there what my face cam is blocking but that seems to be his base stats there with the offensive awareness the ball control um and all that sort of stuff right let me just move that a second offensive awareness ball control dribbling type possession low pass low pass is obviously not going to be what this card is doing this is going to be a run and gun kind of a you know a really nice uh card that you can have and throw on now he doesn't have super subs so i would definitely think he's one of the best super subs in the game if you throw that on him the rest of his card is pretty decent and look at that jump lads 99 jump with 97 acceleration incredible 85 plus type possession you give him the agility booster there you're gonna have 91 speed 98 acceleration you're gonna have 99 jump you're gonna have 85 balance 95 stamina it's an incredible card as well and this is with 33 levels and then last but not least we have Dennis Burkamp who's down now he has 35 levels in here and he also is going to have Blitz Curler um from what we know right so from this logo or from this image here it looks like he does have Blitz Curler there um so I'm not too sure if that's going to be a, a definite but yeah if he does have Blitz Curler I think a lot of people will be interested in him and don't be surprised if Blitz Curler comes back to the forefront a little bit rest of his stats look pretty decent here as well I mean, a Dennis Burkham card, lads, with 90 acceleration, 90 plus balance, 90 tight possession, 95 finishing, 90 plus offensive awareness and ball control. It's it's really nice, man. Kick and power can go to 90 very easily as well. And still having that, you know, really solid low pass, speed, kick or physical contact and stamina. Looks like a very good card. Now, as I said, this card is 35 levels as here as a placeholder. So it is going to be interesting to see if that actually does come to the fore. So let me know what you guys think, lads. Are you going to spin? 
as I said, we'll be doing a big stream tomorrow thanks to OC, and we will be spinning for the players, testing them out, doing builds on all three, hopefully, Dennis Law, Berbatov, and, of course, Burkham. So let me know what you guys think of this pack. Are you excited for a brand new legend joining, such as Dimitar Berbatov? I will see you tomorrow in the stream. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and smash those likes. Peace.